One of the most annoying things to me about Android's Wear OS watch platform is the fact that anytime you change phones, you have to fully reset your Wear OS device. I've been using this Fossil Sport here for about a year and some change now, and it's been fine. It's not a great smartwatch, but it's it once it's booted and it's running, it gets my notifications. I can play, you know, skip tracks and I'm listening to music, whatever, it's fine. But because it's kind of a lower end uh, by today's modern standards, uh, smartwatch, whenever I do switch phones, which is something that I do with some regularity, it takes for freaking ever to get set up again. And then it gets hot, the battery goes dead, and it's just, it's a disaster. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a pretty simple way to change phones and not have to reset your Wear OS device. So the first thing you're going to need to do is enable developer options on your Wear OS device of choice. So what you're going to do from your home screen is you're going to swipe down, you're going to go into your settings, you're then going to scroll all the way down to system, you're going to then scroll down until you see about, you're then going to scroll down again until you see build number, which is hard for me to see while I'm upside down, there's build number. And you're just going to start selecting build number until you get a pop-up that looks like that that's counting down. Now once it finishes counting down, you are a developer. You can then swipe to go back, and now you'll see developer options as an option right under system where you just work. So now you're going to scroll down and you're going to enable USB debugging, and you're going to enable debugging over Wi-Fi. And you're going to look for the IP address. It should say 192.168.something, so mine is .1.29, and then there's a colon, and then you should have 5555. So write that IP address down. You're going to need it here in just a second. Okay, then you're going to go back into your settings. You're going to go to connectivity, and you're going to go to Bluetooth, and you're going to disable Bluetooth. Okay, so at that point, your watch should be ready for the procedure. So now you're going to look for the link in the description below. It's going to say something like ADB portable. You're going to click on that link. You're going to download that file. You're going to get from that file a zip. So you're just going to want to extract it wherever. I actually keep mine at the root of my C folder so it's nice and easy to locate, but you can extract it wherever. You're going to have these files there waiting. So at that point, you're going to hold down shift and right click and select open PowerShell or it might say command prompt. It just depends on what, you, what you're doing, but either way, shift, right click, open PowerShell or open command prompt. Back on this command prompt, you will type in this command and I'll have these commands pasted down in the description, but you're going to now insert that IP address that you just now uh, recorded, hopefully from the screen I just showed you. Now you're going to hit enter, which should cause your device to pop up a screen that looks like this. It's going to ask if you want to allow debugging. We're going to hit always allow from this computer. As you can see here, mine says already connected. At this point, you're going to paste in the next command. It should go through and reboot as it is now. So at this point, you may want to start um, prepping the phone you're switching to as we are rebooting. So you're going to want to download Wear OS from the Play Store and go ahead and get yourself to this screen where you're, you're beginning that process for Wear OS where you've got your start set up, you know, your start setup screen screen there. At that point, you can now go ahead and paste in the final command, which again will be listed down there. That should make your Wear OS device now discoverable, which basically means that you'll be able to search for and find it on your phone. Once you run that command, you will get a confirmation there on your watch to confirm that you want to do that. You're just going to hit that red check to say, yep, I want to make my device discoverable. So that has been sent through. We're going to hit start setup on the new phone and you should get a screen that says you are searching for devices. Shortly after that, it should appear on your screen. You can go ahead and select it. And from there, you're pretty much just going to let it do its thing. And once it wraps up, your smartwatch should be functioning totally normal without having to have reset 
and gone through all that process. So guys, hopefully that video is helpful to some of you guys. Stay tuned for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. If you enjoy my content, please consider becoming a Scary If Literal member. You'll get access to a whole bunch of emoticons to use with live streams and a shout out on an upcoming video. Thanks as always for your continued support.